The Amazing Avocado Mysteries Man cannot survive on bread alone, he also requires toast. And not just any toast, evidently, but avocado toast. Americans are passionate about avocados. According to the USDA, consumption has increased threefold over the last 20 years, and today we consume 7 pounds of buttery fruit annually per person. Some of us eat far more frequently, like every day. You? Here are the 20 best guacamole recipes ever plus 8 reasons to eat this magnificent fruit every day in honor of National Guacamole Day, which is observed on September 16 each year. Avocados are quite filling because they are high in fiber and good monounsaturated fats, like those in olive oil. 10 grams of monounsaturated fat and 5 grams of fiber are both present in a half avocado. According to a study published in Nutrition Journal, overweight adults who included a half an avocado with their lunch reported greater meal satisfaction by 26% and decreased appetite by 40% in the three hours following the meal compared to those who did not. There is one catch. The avocado added to the lunch added an additional 112 calories to the dish. According to a 2013 study published in the Nutrition Journal, those who frequently consume avocados tend to consume much more vegetables, fruit, dietary fiber, monounsaturated fats, vitamins E and K, and less added sugar than those who don't. Regular consumption of avocados is insufficient to ensure that you are getting adequate fruits and vegetables. See 9 Warning Signs You're Not Eating Enough Vegetables to Be Sure You're Getting the Appropriate Amount We're Talking About Metabolic Syndrome, a Collection of Cardiometabolic Health Issues That Increases Your Risk of Developing Diabetes, Heart Disease, Cancer, Kidney Disease, Arthritis, and Even Schizophrenia, to Name a Few a large waist circumference, high blood sugar and triglyceride levels, high blood pressure, and low good HDL cholesterol. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimate that one-third of American adults have metabolic syndrome. Grasp your interest? In a comprehensive study involving more than 17,000 adults, it was discovered that avocado eaters had a 50% lower risk of developing metabolic syndrome than non-eaters. Did you know that having the metabolic syndrome increases your risk of dying from a coronavirus infection? Participants in a study that was written up in Nutrition Journal reported a 40% reduction in their desire to eat for hours after eating half of a fresh avocado for lunch. A two-tablespoon portion of guacamole can deliver the same satiety benefit with much more flavor for only 60 calories. Did we just made guacamole your go-to app for losing weight? You probably already know that potassium controls bodily fluids and that it can lessen the impact of sodium on blood pressure. Bananas are a good source of the beneficial mineral, as you are probably already aware. Did you know, however, that a medium banana only has 300 mg of potassium per cup of diced avocado? Potassium relaxes blood vessel walls in addition to aiding in the removal of salt from the body, which lowers blood pressure even more. According to Anthony L. Komaroff, M.D., Editor-in-Chief of Harvard Health Letter, those who don't consume a lot of potassium-rich foods are more likely to experience high blood pressure and a stroke. The new apple-a-day proverb for the avocado toast age may be an avocado a day, may keep the cardiologist at bay. The so-called bad cholesterol LDL, specifically the heart-harming tiny dense LDL particles, was associated to lower levels in a study conducted by researchers from Penn State University's Department of Nutrition Sciences. Researchers found that only the diet containing avocado reduced levels of LDL when 45 obese or overweight people were given one of three similar cholesterol-lowering diets for five weeks. Their findings were published in the Journal of Nutrition. According to Penny Chris Etherton, distinguished professor of nutrition and one of the study's authors, when you think about bad cholesterol, it comes bundled as LDL particles, which vary in size. Distinguished professor of nutrition Penny Chris Etherton, small, dense LDL is particularly bad, however, all LDL is hazardous. 
The fact that participants on the avocado diet had fewer oxidized LDL particles was a significant discovery. Additionally, they had higher levels of lutein, which may be the bioactive preventing LDL from oxidizing. Avocados have an abundance of plant chemicals that are thought to be beneficial for heart health. According to a study published in the journal Critical Review of Food Science and Nutrition, avocados have roughly 20 times as many fat-soluble phytosterols as other fruits. LDL cholesterol levels have been shown to be reduced by phytosterols. Avocados might contain a specific ingredient that makes them very beneficial at preventing type 2 diabetes. Researchers from the Department of Food Science at the University of Guelph in Canada discovered through an animal study that a fat molecule known as avocatin B, abbreviated AVUB, which is only present in avocados, can inhibit the cellular process that may lead to diabetes. According to study author Paul Spagnuolo's publication in the journal Molecular Nutrition and Food Research, the treated mice demonstrated increased insulin sensitivity, implying that their systems were able to absorb and burn blood glucose and improve their response to insulin. Want to consume more avocados? Before you go to the grocery store, make sure to read about the seven secrets for buying the perfect avocado.